We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Online shopping made easy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina. Hope everybody had an awesome week. I had a pretty good week. I went away, and as usual, I did other things, and I'm going away again soon. One thing I love is the plane. So anytime anybody needs a travel partner, call me. And if you need someone who can drive in the States, China, Ireland, Italy, anywhere, I can do that too. If you need a private shopper, I can do that too. Just decided to say that. <laughs> so today on the show, we have two very special guests. Our first guest is Attorney General Mr. Carl Bethel. Hmm. I wonder what Gina's going to ask him. We'll just have to see. And then we have our head notes admin, Miss Erica Fast. So this is going to be interesting today. Stick around. Let's see what's going to happen. Thanks for watching. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and the Pediatric Place. Hey. Hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. Are you still going to the event? Yeah, I order my dose right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. This is how it feels to consolidate your debt with Bank of the Bahamas. And this is how it feels to reduce your monthly payments. Come discover the new BOB, offering debt consolidation loans at the lowest rate in town. And guess what? You can get cash in addition to cleaning up your finances. That's how it feels. Apply today for your BOB debt consolidation loan. Terms and conditions apply. This segment is brought to you by Bank of the Bahamas, the Bank of Solutions. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And as promised, I have with us uh, the Attorney General of the Bahamas, the Honorable Carl Bethel, Minister of Legal Affairs. You all know how I am with these titles because I know these people so long. He knew me when I was a little girl, and I'd call him Carl. Better so, known as Carl. Exactly, <laughs> better known as Carl. And then yeah. people would say, Gina, you're being rude, and you're not following protocol because he does have a title. And I have a title called the Awesome Gina. I don't make him call me that, you know, because we're friends. Okay, Awesome Gina. You know, exactly. So welcome, Minister yeah. uh, Bethel. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Gina. It's it's be here. Awesome. So we have a lot to ask and say, and everybody wants to know what, what's going to come out of your mouth or what's going to come out of mine. So we're going to move quickly, and um, I hope that you could, we're going to keep it light because you're cool, and I like you, and I think that, you know, it, it'll be nice if people know who the real Carl is, you know, it's because I know you a long time. Yeah. Now, and, he, and he's all shaved for me because I don't like a beard. I don't know if y'all ever noticed it with the beard. I hate it. So anyway, mm -hmm. that's what to put that in. First of all, hmm. how long have you been in politics? A lifetime. <laughs> For real? Well, since I was 16 years old. And what made you say, oh, this is what I want to do? I don't know. I think it's a, a, a desire to punish yourself. Because, <laughs> 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 no, in, in all seriousness, um, at that time, 
you know, the, the country had been under one party rule mm -hmm. from all of my life, basically. Yeah, you, all of mm -hmm. yeah and, and so we thought that that was something we should fight for to try and change, to have a real democracy here. Right. And once you got in, then it was a question of trying to serve people. Because all of a sudden, beyond the image of, oh, we got to get rid of this one party state, then you are the government, and then people coming to you with real needs. And so you did develop a whole culture in your head that you're not just there for yourself, you're there to try and help people. And you feel as if you are one of those people where I, I am going to try to change the country and make it better. Yes. And it's not this image where people just be like, oh, you on your own little mission of what you're doing. Yeah, no. Because a lot of people don't yeah. know, because we don't all say publicly what we do. And, and I won't say publicly all the things that, that I've done, but I, I've tried always uh, in my public life to be attentive to people's needs and to do the best that I could do to help people, whether it's getting jobs, helping them with family um, problems, and I could financial let issues. Do, which we didn't, that he didn't always want to bring this up, but I don't even know if you remember, um, my father had passed uh -huh. and my sister needed help with college and we came to you and you gave her, you, you know, you helped her to go to college. And we appreciate that. I don't even know if you remember I don't, that. I don't remember. I don't exactly. Know. Yeah, it's just I, I don't one even think, and that's how long ago, and that's wow. the thing. That's not right. even because wow. we were friends. You right. were uh, uh, the, the uh, minister in our area right. and we came to you and you said, of course, I'll help. Okay. And, it's, and, and we, you know, it wasn't Glad publicized. You. You no, know what I mean? No, yeah. And we remember that. And because of yes. that, you know, like she's an uh, artistic therapist. You oh, know what I mean? excellent. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, in that way, not only did I give a little help to someone, but that little help helped that person to exactly. help so many more who are in great need. And exactly. That's, that's a blessing. I'm really happy to hear that. So Gina. now you are the Attorney General of the Bahamas. And uh, thank God you're a lawyer by profession. But I want to know, what exactly are you paid to do? What are you responsible for? In short, to give the best legal advice that I can to the government. So my officers deal with everything to do with any case brought against the government. They'll take the lead role in, even if sometimes we have to call in help from abroad. Um, any uh, contract, any uh, lease agreement, any document that the government is a party to or about to become a party to, we have to sign off on it to make sure that it's in, in due form, whether it's a head of agreement, a lease agreement, um, uh, agreement with an international and you organization. you have to read all this yourself? Well, no, my, my staff uh, do most of the legwork, but generally speaking, I double check what they do. So you sleep at the office? Uh, no, I read fast, you know. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm, the, I'm not a fast reader. One of the first things Queen's College taught me in the first grade <laughs> was how to do speed reading. <laughs> so. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think that um, a lot of people don't realize mm. exactly what one job entails. Yes. And in my opinion, mm. there are a lot of people, when our islands are so spread out and there's so much right. going on, and they don't realize the responsibility that one person has. Right. And then they think that you all have a magic wand, you know. And oh, why yes. is this so, I don't want to sound why this takes so long. And I don't want to mm -hmm. sound as like, dude, I, not only you are in line. There's 50,000 people well, before it, you. But this is exactly the problem. You know, the greatest criticism of my office, oh, it take them long to get X, Y, and Z. The problem is that people only see that it take long from their view. Right. They don't see all the other things that we're doing. <clears throat> so part of my job is to give priority to some things because some things will fall in the cracks. And so, you know, when I get, uh, you know, someone that sends a request, writes me a letter, whatever, it gives me the impetus to go there and cause the, the staff to go and pick something that may have fallen through the cracks up and bring it forward and deal with it. So, you know, and, you know, we deal with all sorts of things. People have brought claims against the government um, for uh, damages for any kind of civil wrong. Um, uh, their car went in a hole, it wasn't properly lit, um, or... Um, they say the police did something to them or, you know, the government um, blew all their refrigerators because of the power surge and BPL and therefore anything like that. Right. So okay. we represent the government right across the, 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 the board. It's a lot. Yeah. All right, we're going to come right back mm. in a few minutes, pay some bills, and I have some more questions for Carl Bethel. Come on into the Quality Home Center. You will see the savings from when you enter. You 
one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and live better. Welcome to Doctors Hospital Pharmacy, open 24 hours a day, ensuring both our inpatients and the general public have access to a full-service pharmacy whenever they need it most. At Doctors Hospital, we care about making you feel safe and at home. We know our way around a counter with our team of highly trained, knowledgeable pharmacists available 24 hours a day. We offer a complete range of pharmacy services to all our patients. The pharmacy at Doctors Hospital, open 24 hours a day. This segment is brought to you by Quality Home Center. Spend less, live better. Welcome back to No Filter, and we're here with Attorney General of the Bahamas, Minister Carl Bethel. So, my next question yes. that I think we, I'm going to start getting serious now. It is said that the future of our nation depends on how it sees its women. What steps are you taking to ensure equality of women as it relates to the passing on the citizens to our children? Now, I know you have two daughters. Yes. So, tell me what you're doing about this. Well, my oldest daughter uh, married a Bahamian, so I don't have oh, to worry. Oh, safe. So, she's safe. She's there. She passed the test. Uh-huh. I can't swear for the younger daughter uh, who take after me, so I don't know where, <laughs> she, where I get up. <laughs> same, so, same character. But well, are, you, are you on our yeah. side? I'm on the side of all um, of full equality between males and females. Yes, that's what the I want to hear. The difficulty is that with the connivance of the British at that time, who now they didn't found religion, uh -huh. so they changed on us. Okay, yeah. But at the time, in 1972, they were in cahoots with, the, with the, the government that was in power at that time, the pinning administration. And they came with these whole frameworks that said man is on top and woman is subsidiary. But you can man of more right. You no, I can't. That in the Constitution. The oh, Bayman people got to fix that. Okay, we got to fix that. But, okay. but, but we have a new immigration, national, nationality immigration asylum bill where we're seeking to try and, and uh, fill the gaps and, and ease some of the pain caused by the provisions in the Constitution, which do discriminate both against men and women. Okay. Unmarried men, they're discriminated against. The Constitution goes so far as to say that uh, in this uh, Constitution, Reference to an unmarried man is reference to the mother. Uh, re an unmarried father is reference to the mother. Right. In other words, that the the Constitution is it twists itself I was into. I say this all Twists itself. Oh my it, goodness. The Constitution twists itself like a pretzel to declare that in the case of an unmarried man, any reference to the father is a reference to the mother. <laughs> oh no. Man, when you do fools sometimes, I you know. have to twist things around so on paper. So we need to untwist this. Yes, but only the Bahamian people could untwist it. So we need to work on this, Bahamians. Let's get it together. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to provide a, a softening of that, uh, consistent with the Constitution, but a softened approach to it that will allow more and more of the children of Bahamian women and unmarried men to get their patri patrimony, their heritage as Bahamians. Yes. Okay. okay, at your office, what are you uh, doing about the backlog of all these one million cases? Oh. Well, you know, um, we've done a lot over the past several years to, to clear that backlog, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but the major thing that is we're working on right now is to create one more criminal court which will be devoted to backlog cases and sexual violence and abuse cases. Can we build that court up to Fox Hill next to the prison so they don't have to go uh, in a crazy van and try to run over people? It's a good idea. It's <laughs> a good it's idea. Don't lie, Gina. That's a good idea. Good idea. idea. Um, yeah, I think there's some issue about um, uh, having access to the general public, though. Mm. That's why you can't go behind the gate. Mm. Thank you. Court. Below that wall. True. That's one of my pet True. peeves. True. Okay, if you can change one aspect of the government, what would it be? Oh, um, I, I think the, e the thing that we need to change right now, and we're working really hard on it, is to make it one government. So that I, you, uh, every citizen, once we give our passport in and our birth certificate and our ma birth certificate, our grandma birth certificate into one agency, it will be used in every agency. Oh, can't so wait. So you don't have to keep doing reinventing the wheel every time. 
Um, I agree. You know, I, I hate and that. Hey, if you have a passport on your, if you have an affidavit of, of, about your 85-year-old mother, Mm -hmm. um, where she was born on your passport form, which is not recorded. At the time, it didn't have to be recorded. Why should you have to go and try and find someone living now who could talk about when your 85-year-old mother was born? Amazing. Impossible. So th th there's much we That's can do. That's a great idea. <laughs> to Jeez. make life easier for ordinary people. Yes. And that, that includes you and me. Yes. We ordinary people. Yes. I hate and we have the I, same hang-ups and the same problems with the passport we, office. I was going to say, we renew the passport. I tell them my mommy and daddy ain't changed. Exactly. This is the same mommy and daddy. Same, with, same thing on your file. Yeah. But then they tell you, well, the I policy is now that we have to have a recorded uh, affidavit. And it has to be digital. Yes. So, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay. Are you going to run next election? No. Ooh, and he said it. <laughs> All right. You just yeah. retiring. You can work for me. Yeah, you can have I, I've, together. Been in, I've been in, I've been in, uh, <clears throat> in public life most of my adult life, all of my adult life, actually. So, Carl Bethel and, and I, I have are going to start a uh, talk show. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's time to do some other things, perhaps, um, at, at the end of this uh, parliamentary So, term. you make sure you shine, you go out bright like a diamond, okay? And I, I just want to do the best that I can do for as long as I can do it, for as many people as I can do it. And I, I look to the good Lord to help me with that. Amen. That's it. I got you. So now I'm going to ask you some fun questions to let okay. people know that who you are a real person. Mm. You're, they, they, people think that in Parliament, you know, you're, you're, you're some sort of opti, arrogant people who don't have a real life. True. So yeah, I'm going to ask you these questions. You have to say the first thing that comes to the top of your head. All right? Okay. Okay. So coffee, tea, or orange juice? Coffee, black, no cream, no sugar. Whoa. Morning or night <clears throat> person? Uh, night person. French fries or carrots? But I'm becoming more of a morning person now. I get up 5 o'clock every morning, so I have 4. <laughs> See that? So that means he's a morning person. <laughs> Old age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, French fries or carrots? Oh, French fries. Hot or cold weather? Cold weather. Boat <clears throat> or plane? Uh, boat, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> Loud party Closer or... Closer to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loud party or a quiet dinner? Um, well, it depends. <laughs> Oh, no, I feel. Yeah, you know, right? What right. would I end at the time? What exactly. Are, what's your sign? Uh, cancer. Oh, cancer? So my son's a yeah. cancer. They're yes. good people. Yes. What is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of it. You can say, besides coming in the store and Gina telling you in front of everybody. To, to take up my bed. Yeah, <laughs> to cut his bed. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah, yes, that, that was very funny. <laughs> if you could go, mm. if you could only play one song for the rest of your life, what song would it be? Uh, Redemption song by Bob Marley. Ah, good song. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Yes. None but ourselves. Yes, very good song. Do yeah. you change the oil or, or tires in your car? I change tires and uh, where required oil, mm -hmm. sometimes transmission fluid. Okay. And all the things. Or I've got all these things. Uh, do you still do it? <coughs> or you want someone to do it now? When, when, no, no, no. I don't, I don't, no, no. On my personal car, I do whatever has to be done. Very impressive. Uh, yes, yeah. What is I your mean, I, I'm not a mechanic, so I know I can. Just right, say right, pour right. Oil in here, I pour it in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your yeah. favorite movie? My oh, well, I got th two. But okay. anyway, the good, the bad, and ugly. Oh, good. And the Godfather. Oh. Whenever I come across them Very on TBS, you suck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I know those movies. Yeah, I have yeah, a husband yeah, who does yeah, that. Yeah. What is your biggest pet peeve? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I suppose heavy traffic. Oh, can you fix that too? <laughs> hey, who built all the highways? The <laughs> FNM, Hubert Ingram. I know, thank God. <laughs> all, all the highways, all the ease and all the tension and all the congestion. Uh, do you sing in the shower? Absolutely not. You don't? No. I thought everybody sang in the shower. No, hmm. I sew off in the shower and get <laughs> out <laughs> as I could. Have you ever ice skated? Yes, I have. Can you do it? Um, uh, my uh, posterior did more ice skating than my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I kept landing backwards. Yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, last question. But I, I can do it. I can do it. Okay, yes. when, yeah. Yeah. when you were a kid, mm. what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, f for a lawyer. You wanted to be a lawyer? Yeah, Doberman Pinchot bit me in the face when we were in Miami. And all of my cousins got to, to play in the pool. And I had to stay in the hotel room with my face bandaged up. And I watched Perry Mason uh -huh. all day. Uh -huh. And I said, I want to be just like Perry Mason. 
<laughs> good story. <laughs> yeah, I was about six that's years old. That, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good really. story. It's it actually happened. I'm going to be a lawyer so I can sue that dog. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All yeah, right, everybody. my Addy Go, dog. Bethel, <laughs> Attorney General. Thank you so much for coming. I love you, and I wish you luck, and I will continue to pray for you. And I know, you. I know where you, you do you. Thank I'm you. here. We, we got you supported. Thank you, Gina. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. Hey DQ fans, everyone knows DQ has the best sweet treats, but we also have delicious and affordable food options too. Presenting the DQ $7 Fan Meal. For just $7, choose from one of three delicious oven caught sandwiches, chicken bacon ranch, grilled chicken, or turkey BLT. Plus enjoy a DQ Sunday, a soda and a chip, all for just $7. This is one ridiculous deal you don't want to miss. DQ, it's fan food, not fast food. Phones are good, but why have one good thing when you can have everything? Get unlimited local and international calling with Trio. Get everything. Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. This is heavy. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Dairy Queen. Fan food, not fast food. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to No Filter Show. And I'm here for our best of head no segment with our admin, one of our jurors, Erica Bass. Erica, welcome. Thank you. How good. are you? I'm good. Good to be here. Good. So we have a lot to say in a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. First of all, before everybody picks up this accent of yours and they say, well, who's this? She's a head of admin and she ain't Bahamian. Are you Bahamian? I came here when I was a year old. One. So you were you, you, you Bahamian? Yeah. Yeah. I finished my education in England, so that's where I got a little bit of a proper accent from. And your parents? They're Hungarian. Right. So you're a little, little mix up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but but um, t what else proves to me that you're Bahamian? What do you mean? Because like I can speak like you're not going to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and you graduated with my brother. Yes. I have scars still from going to school with your brother. Emotional wounds. No. No, yeah. I went to school with Mark, and that's how far back we go. Like you see. Mm-hmm. And uh, how did you become a part of uh, Head Knowles? Well, I was living in Abaco, and when Hurricane um, Joaquin started, I wanted to get involved, what we could do in Abaco. So I reached out to you then, because we go way back. And then um, in 2017, I moved to Nassau with my kids, and I opened my big mouth and asked you, how can I help? How can I pay it forward? And you said, you want to be an admin? I was like, OK. <laughs> and do you love it? I do. <laughs> I do. Um, it can be frustrating because people can be so mean, but I do love it. And I love our admins, and I think we're an awesome team. 
And we have fun on our little side group. Oh my gosh, sometimes, if people only knew. That's why sometimes we always say we could just delete the whole group and just have us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, we, and we're happy. And, and take over the world. Exactly. <laughs> and so what do you think is the worst part of being an admin? I think the worst part is um, dealing with people who want to be part of Head Knowles, but they, they can't be bothered to follow the rules. They want to make it their own group. Um, and they, they just don't, they don't care. And I think the, the fundamental basis of Head Knowles is caring. And do you realize that every week, all of the admins sing the same song? It's so mm -hmm. funny. And I think that people don't realize what all we see. They mm -hmm. think that we see it all. But the things that we do see and they're all reported and then they don't understand it's hurtful to us because we are trying to be the change. We're trying to make a difference. And then you just have these people who just come here to be stink. And they just ha always have an opinion and always mean. And just like, I, I hear this to slam you down. That's my job. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It's just, ugh. So what is your favorite part? My favorite part is helping people. Uh, my favorite part is when somebody does reach out for help, whether it's it's just, okay, maybe not what banks are open on Saturdays, because that's <laughs> a little overplayed. But <laughs> when somebody asks for help, whether it's information or like a fire, and they need clothes, and people group together and join forces and help. And that is what keeps it going, and that's what keeps Keeps us that, motivated. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that, that is something that yeah. makes us say, wow, we mean it. We, we, yes, we made a change today. Something happened. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that too. Um, what, who do you think is the meanest admin? Well, <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about that. And I think, um, I think we all, you know what? I wouldn't say any of us are mean, actually. I think we all have our um, thresholds of what we put up with and depending on if we've had a bad day like the other day I had a bit of a bad day and I was like off with the head <laughs> I'm deleting <And> everybody <laughs> today <laughs> and Leah was like hold on hold on and you know and and that's what I love is because we have each other so I it, it can be put put in perspective um, but I think we all have our limits and sometimes people push those limits so I think we all could be you know, maybe class is mean, but I don't think it's mean. I think it's just no patience when you keep pushing, you know, kind of like our kids push our buttons. She totally dodged the question and she didn't say who's the meanest. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think, I don't think one person is mean. We're just, oh, I think we all just follow the rules. Yeah. Threshold is a good, is a good. Yeah. And some of the sleepers who just go and delete and someone goes and breaks it down. Usually I go and I say, I'm going to delete you if you don't delete your post. That's usually what I do. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what do you think head nulls is? So I think Head Knowles is, um, like you said the other day, kind of like a Craigslist where people can come and get information. But it's also about helping. And I think one thing that people don't realize is that there is a lot that happens behind the scenes that people don't know. And um, it's very easy for people to judge, but, but you don't know. Um, and I think one thing that I find frustrating is, I'm kind of expanding on your question, if you want to be a part of Head Knowles, what is your purpose? Why yes. do you want to be part of Head Knowles? It is very, very, um, it really hurts me sometimes to see how mean people can be. How many times do we say, if you have nothing nice to say, just keep scrolling by? You don't need to comment. It's like I, I tell my kids all the time, if it's not necessary, if it's not kind, if it's not nice, don't say it. Right. And, um, a lot of people want to be part of Head Knowles, but they don't want to follow the rules. And it, it's that just. And then, you know, one thing, too, that, that we discussed the other day when I had my live thing about two weeks ago, um, that they think that because they gave a donation, then they get a get out of jail free card and they're allowed to break right. the rules. Right. And then they come back to th what they do is they don't realize that we we, we discuss and then they'll come back to, I delete them, and they'll go to you. Hey, can you let me back in the group? They'll go to Ash. They'll go to Leah. Can you let me back in the group? And mm -hmm. it's like, no, dude, I know what you did. And they don't <laughs> realize that we're talking to each other. <laughs> we <laughs> screenshotted that. <laughs> we got the evidence. This is the reason why you were deleted. Yeah, because you're being a freak, mm -hmm. you know. And this is what, all the time, it, it, it simply blows me away. But it's a fun group. I appreciate it. And... Um, 
I hope that and we, we always have a long list of people waiting to get a part of the group. Mm -hmm. We do have questions. If you don't answer the questions, you're yeah. coming on. Exactly. So all those people who watch the show now who's trying to get on head knows what you should do is go on the no filter page first. And then let me get used to you because if we don't know you and if you don't answer the questions or somebody didn't recommend you, we don't just let you in. And that's why you watch that number go down before it goes up because it's getting really big. And then they want to be, we, they want us to get more admins. And if you, in order to be an admin, act like an admin. Mm -hmm. If you come and you help us out and you're positive and you try to make the change with us and we say, wow, you add value to this group. We should make you an admin. A lot of our admins, how many of the admins out of the 12 have you actually met face to face um well i know raquel because we grew up together i just met ashley obviously you leah gina the other gina and oh you do good yeah so yeah. that's five yeah five out of 12. we have to get together yes we, we do. know each other by whatsapp Anyway, so that was our head note segment. Erica, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate Thanks. it, and I'll see you next season. Love yes. you much, baby. No, we do. All right. Thank you. Well, phone is good. Internet is good. TV is good. But why just pick one thing when you can have everything with Tria? Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residentialsales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And I want to let you all know about something that sets me crazy because I know you all think I have this perfect life, but I don't. I have two kids, 10-year-old and a 14-year-old, 10-year-old boy, 14-year-old girl, and I have a husband of 21 years who was my soulmate. I loved him from the moment I saw him. However, these husbands, as much as you love them, they could set you nuts. Let me tell you, the one day I can sleep late, he wakes up. He's from Long Island. You know where Long Island people go. They wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And then he walks out. First of all, he try, He has. He. Uh, I'm not going to lie. He has tried his hardest now not to turn on every light to, to light up. The whole house like Las Vegas, he's getting better at that. Oh, after the 21 years. He goes out into the front room and he has to make coffee because he's a coffee drinker. I hate coffee. I hate the smell of coffee. Yes, I'm strange. Fine, I'll take it. I don't care. I drink iced tea. He pours his coffee. And now I could hear all of this. And you know what he does with that stupid spoon? King, 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 king. I hate that! Oh, so all of you husbands and wives who do that when people are sleeping, don't think you're being quiet because you're not. And then I don't understand what it is when you have a plate that you ate out of and you put it in the sink and you run water and you put joy. You can't wash it. You can't just do a little sloosh and wash it and put it in a drink. You're one, you're one plate. You know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. And I argue over this every day of my life. <laughs> and I hate washing dishes, but I but I have to do it. I guess I'm the wife, I'm the mom, fine. My kids do it. And my daughter, 14 years old, she rather wash clothes. She always says that. So she bargains with her brother, and he washes the dishes. She washes the clothes. She feeds the dogs. He takes out the garbage. They have a little bargain. I don't care as long as it's done. But why are you going to put the things in the sink and then leave it? I can do it later. Just do it then. Mm. So... That's my little ranch rave and all that. What happens in my household? If y'all only know. And y'all see this mouth? I be carrying on like a psycho, but it doesn't stick. I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. So anyway, hope you all have a great week. And it's hump day. I don't know if Wednesdays is like you consider it a good day because it's the middle of the week and it's almost done. Or if it's a bad day because it's the middle of the week and it just started. But anyway, I hope everybody has a great week. And... Go get a tan. You see me? I'm burnt. So before we go, I just want to let you know something that happened to me. So you ladies and men, some of you do this. I, uh, my daughter had a photo shoot, and I had my hair braided in two cute little plaits, you know, and I'm cute on the beach. And uh, it was really, really cool, but the sun was out, and I was under the trees. And the photo shoot was actually three to four hours. And the next morning I woke up, and I raked my fingers along the middle of my head, and it was raw sore 
and it actually had like sores because I was so sunburnt. Be careful of that. Uh, you, you can see that I'm a little burnt and I shouldn't even be in the sun. So be careful during the summer because it's hot out there. And I don't know what we could do. And if your car AC ain't working, you better go get some free on now because I learned that last week too. But in the meantime, between time, love you all. HKers, be good. Follow the rules and make sure to go on our No Filter Show page. Okay? Have a good day. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.